Hello everybody, I am here with a name brand handbag thread up mystery unboxing video. I do these unboxing videos every Sunday, so if you like mystery unboxings, hit the subscribe button down below. This one is five pieces for $100. I just got one recently and I've already sold a few items out of there, so I'm really excited to have this one again. This is one of my favorite ones to get. Someone actually did text me this week and told me a designer box was available and I got on like the second after she texted me and they were already gone. The designer boxes go so fast, it's ridiculous. Okay, so here's my little invoice, $100 mixed name brand handbag. So I'm gonna go through this, show you what I got. If you see anything that you like or you're interested in, Instagram is the best way to contact me and let me know and I can give you a price. Otherwise, I will have all of these listed eventually in my Poshmark, eBay, Mercari stores. I am, if you normally watch my channel, I still have tons of skims to list. Um, I did end up separating it all into sizes of what I have left. And so I got through my extra smalls and smalls and so I just have my bigger sizes left. But I do have quite a pile of things so I don't know if these will be listed right away. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for checking out my channel. I'm really excited about something I see in the top of that box. My name's Heather, I'm a full-time reseller. I go by the Canary Closet uh, everywhere, basically. So all of that's down below if you wanna check me out other places besides YouTube. Here's the top look and here's what you can see. I'm excited. This is my favorite items to get in these boxes. Yay, okay, we're just gonna do it first because why not? Look how beautiful this purse is. I don't really use that word, but it is. It's a pink leather Tory Burch in like excellent condition. Don't mind my like, I just got it a bit. Um, light pink, kind of like this diamond pattern, gold chain handle. It has a tassel here on the handle. This has a little bit of a red mark right here. So I might try to clean this off just because this bag actually is worth it. Some of the bags I get, I'm like, if I clean it off, it's not really going to change the value. Um, yeah, other than that, on the outside, it looks amazing. So this might have just been from like rubbing up against something. This is super nice. It even has the tag in here, which is great. The suggested retail was $498. It's the Fleming convertible shoulder bag. So that's great because I can use this now. I know what it's called. Holy crap. This is so pretty. I almost feel like that that just got marked up on something and this is like new almost without tags or never used because the inside is like ridiculously clean. Like it's perfect. Um, okay, this is really exciting. So I'm gonna look up comps on this and see what they're going for. Probably I'll look at new comps because I think this is basically new and price mine right around there. Yes, I might list this one sooner before all the other stuff just because I'm really excited to list it. Okay, let's see. This next one is a cute shape. It is a Michael Kors and it's this white round leather purse with all of the studs in the front and the MK there in the middle. It does have a small little like chain handle with these tassels, but then it also has a large crossbody adjustable strap. So I don't know if that says anything on there. Yeah, that says MK on there. It looks like the chain handle is the one that can come off and the adjustable strap stays. So I guess you could kind of decide how you want to do that. And then again, there's like a little like tassel details. Let's take a look on the inside. Actually, let me look at the outside first. Um, a little bit of like marking or discoloring. I'll let you guys look at that in case this might be something you're interested in so you can see the full condition, the back. It's actually really not that bad. Um, just a little bit of spots. Okay, oh, this came with a dust bag, which is great, Michael Kors. I have some dust bags up on my purse bin that I need to remember when I sell stuff to put those in there. And it is just Michael Kors. It's not Michael Michael Kors. So that's great. Um, it has a couple little spots there for credit card inserts and then a small pocket on that side. The inside is pretty clean, a little bit of marks, but nothing that bad. So this is good. I like this because it's different. 
and I think it might sell pretty decent. I guess we'll see when I go to list it and look up comps, but first impression is good for that and great that it came with a dust bag. Okay, this is marked by Bark Jacobs. I really like this. It is a black, like quilted tote, but it has like the spell out all over it. So it says Jacobs, I think here in the front, I can see the C and the B. Actually, that wouldn't make sense. Jacobs, J-A-C-O-B. B, I don't know. <laughs> Am I being dumb? And there's like an S and an A in the back of here. So actually like, what's going on? Cause it's not like in order. Anyway, it's really cute. It's really cute. I just am like slightly confused. It has a magnetic closure, the spell out lining interior, um, inside zipper pocket, and two inner pockets over here. It is a nice medium sized bag. It is soft. I kind of want a black tote, but I don't know if I want this black tote. It does have two side pockets. Let's make sure nothing is in there. No, it's not. So this is cute. It's very clean. I think it's a good trendy style. So hopefully this one does good. Side note, if you guys are praying, oh my gosh, my hair. Pray for Grace. She kind of had just a huge thing last night. She's very stressed with her math. She was very angry with me. I tried to make a joke that I thought would be funny and she did not think it was funny and it just stressed her out and she feels like I don't listen to her and I don't understand her. If you're a mother of teens, you probably like get it. It's hard. Parenting teens is hard. Anyway, we worked everything out. She has this math teacher that is just kind of a little ridiculous and crazy. She has, and Grace has this goal of graduating at 17 with her associates and she's a very much of a perfectionist, overthinker. And she is just like, was freaking out. Anyway, I helped her with her math. We talked, we got things settled, but it was just like, ugh. I just needed to get through this one more semester. This is really pretty. This is a great green velvet Dunian Burke bag. It's a large bag. It has the brown leather handle that is gold hardware and it is detachable. Tassel zipper. Um, I think I have some suede cleaner. I could run over this if I want to. It's like a little bit like used and warm, but I don't really feel like it's that bad. When you just look at it, although like, is it like a weird like shape or is that just from, I think that's just from another bag in the, I don't know. I think it's maybe from the handle of this other purse, but do you see that? Like when I back it out, I wonder if I can brush that and get that off. I'm guessing I can. Anyway, here's the bottom with the feet. This is super pretty. It's a very nice style. It has a red interior and there is this for your keys or whatever you want to use that for. Here's the little like name inside there and then I'm looking for this and here's that. So a couple pockets in here. Very clean. Let me check to make sure nothing's in them. No. That's great. This is a super nice purse. I think I might use my little suede brush and just try to clean that up a little bit. That's exciting. I love that. Very nice. Okay, last bag, which I feel like might be the worst. Was that mean to say? What's the name brand? Rescue Box without a Kate Spade. This is a Kate Spade blue and white striped bag, but it almost seems like it's like very structured that it sits up like this and these handles are like, I don't know, like they're in their spots. <laughs> but like, look at the top. It reminds me of like when you would go on a picnic or like a lunch. I don't know how to explain this. I guess I'll have to look up comps in this. Um, it does have a leather like little strap on each of these sides and then the bottom is pretty clean. But it's like, it's almost like it's meant to sit up like this. Like it's, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys understand what I'm saying, thank you. Okay, yellow interior. Here's the Kate Spade. And then there's usually, so this just says made in China. Usually there's a little tag in there that like says Kate Spade with like the material and this one doesn't, but I don't think that means it's fake. Um, but it is super clean on the inside again, very clean. So 
I'm really excited about that, that they're all so clean. This is a really good box. So let's just do a little recap. Kate Spade fabric. Again, don't know just with the structure of this, but I will definitely look it up. I like this Dooney a lot. It is very pretty. It's very nice, like good quality condition. This is cute. Like I really am almost thinking about keeping it, but I don't think I will, but I really like it. I don't know. Maybe I'll look up comps. If it's not selling for too much, maybe I'll carry it for a little bit. Or I'll just carry it until I sell it. I did that with another coach bag I had before. The Michael Kors studded circle bag is my fourth one. And then this beautiful Tory Burch pink leather purse. So that's my box, guys. If you are interested in getting Thread Up Rescue Boxes, you can go on their site anytime and you just have to randomly refresh throughout the day because you never know when they're going to be available. There's no way of knowing, as far as I know, unless you have an in with someone who works for Thread Up. So sometimes you just kind of have to get lucky. Thank you so I'm flinging around scissors. I don't know why, because I have ADD. No, I don't. But I'm always messing with stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. I'm dumb. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I'm excited to grow my channel this year. I will be back on Tuesday with a haul video for you because I have a whole trunk of stuff that I've got, even after I bought this skim stuff when I shouldn't have been shopping, and I still did. So I have lots of stuff to show you. Have a good day, guys. Bye.